So, I guess there's another one of these Banjo THQ games, and I should probably cover it. Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to... A rare game? Yes. A rare game called Banjo Pilot. So some of you may be wondering, what the heck is Banjo Pilot? Because it's literally the bottom of the pile of Banjo game out of the entire series, at least in my opinion. And... Basically, it's a racing game on the Game Boy Advance that originally started off as, I think, Diddy Kong, Don Diddy Kong Racing? Some kind of Diddy Kong Racing on GBA, I forget what it was called. But, uh, yeah, basically started off as a Diddy Kong game. Uh, Microsoft was sold, or sorry, Rare was sold to Microsoft, and they couldn't use Donkey Kong characters anymore, so they changed it to a Banjo game. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a very really short-ended series. I'm going to go ahead and guess about maybe four videos tops, because all we're doing are the four cups that the game offers. I'm not going to be unlocking all the characters. I'm not going to be playing every single type of mode. I'm just more or less playing each cup, showing off the levels. That's about it at the end of the day. So this is probably going to be the only Banjo game that I don't 100%, but we are at least going to touch upon this game, just, just for the sake of touching upon every Banjo game possible. That is of the core Banjo-Kazooie series. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get things started. Uh, we have quite a few options here. We're gonna go with Grand Prix. Alright, so let's see. Save data found? Ah, uh, no, we're gonna start new. I've never played on this cartridge before, so if there's any save data, it's not mine. Are you sure you wish to restart? Yes, I'm not keeping any of it. Alright, so basically we have, let's see, about eight characters to play with here, with, I think, one missing. And I don't know if you can unlock any more characters. I'm pretty sure there's like another solid three characters you can unlock. I, I have no idea. But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I guess we'll start with Banjo since he's a pretty good go-to. He's got like a overall kind of, what's the word? I don't know, like a medium kind of setting to him where he's got a little bit of good on everything. Because he's got really good handling. All right. Ooh, Ginger's got really good handling, but horrible, like, speed? Acceleration? Whichever one that is. Ooh, Gratilda, I don't like her stats. Uh, her handling looks horrible. Alright, either way though, let's go ahead and pick Banjo. Get things started. Select a Grand Prix. Alright, so we got the Bottles GP, the Endurance GP, Grunty GP, and the Jinjo GP. So, we're gonna be kind of going in a... I guess, let's see. Bottles, then we got Endurance, Jinjo, and Grunty. So what I'll probably do, guys, is that we're gonna start off with the Bottles one. And I think we'll end it off on either the Grunty or Jinjo one. I don't really care which, but yeah. Select a cup. Oh! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. They, they weren't cups, they were the type of GP. Okay. Hang on here. Bottles GP, Grunty GP, Endurance Jin... Okay, we'll just go with Bottles then. We'll go with the regular old Bottles GP. And we're gonna go ahead and select a cup. We're gonna go with the Honeycomb GP. Or cup. Honeycomb cup. Yes. I may be potentially sleep deprived, but that's besides the point. We got Spiral Mountain, which is race one of four. Let's go ahead and get things started. Now, I haven't played this game in a good solid, uh, how long has it been since this game came out? <laughs> about a year after that, because I played it for about a good year or so when the Game Boy Advance was still fresh. So however long that is, I've, I've, I haven't played it since then. So I'm going to be, ah, majorly rusty fudge. Hit one up one of those. There you go, Banjo. I wonder if it works just like it did with, um, Diddy Kong Racing, where if I let go of the button, like the acceleration button, when I get to one of those speed pads, will it actually boost me with, like, rainbow smoke or be faster? Or will it... Ah, jeez. Is there any way of dodging those at all? Hang on. There's gotta be some way of dodging. Hang on. Let's try some here. Oh, we can do, like, a spin. Might be able to work something here eventually. We'll see. We'll see. Hang on. No, oh, I wanted to try it. Dang it. Well, the trial. Ouch, mother of fricks. And I believe we're in second now. Oh dear. Oh, we gotta speed up. I don't know if I'll ever get first place for each one of these races, but I'm definitely going to try and at least complete each cup with a decent rank. So, no guarantees that I'll get first every time or anything perfect, but we're gonna try our darn best here. Gosh darn it. Ah, one of that note. Oh well, that's fine. Let's get one of the speed boosters. Come on. Uh, I don't know if that boosted me better than before. Oh, dear God. Pretty sure we lost this race. 
And I didn't even get to pick up any items. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got freaking third. Well, that's not uh, horrible. Definitely not horrible. We're more or less just touching base on this game, so once again, if I don't 100% this game or do the best, then that's fine. I'm more or less just kind of showcasing it. It's a racing game with no story mode. Originally, it was supposed to have a story mode, or I think it potentially could have had a story mode. It's not like that. But uh, yeah, so Grunty, Grunty's in first, Mumbo's in second, I'm in third. Clungo obviously fourth. Kazooie, you need to set up your game. Come on now. Also that ooh ooh ah from the chimp I hear in the background. Like, holy crap. That is that like a leftover sound from the Diddy Kong Racing GBA? Come on now. Also, this is freaking Pride Rock. It's like Pride Rock. I actually didn't read the name of the level, so that's my bad. Crap. Because these are supposed to be based off of like banjo levels, or at least some of them are. So, my bad for not reading this one, but if I had to take a guess... Uh... I don't know. Oh my god! This music sounds like something out of Conquer 12 Tales, the game that never happened. Oh jeez. I'm trying to get these speed boosters, but they are crazy fast. Gotta admit though, this game's holding up a lot better than I thought it would. Like, it's still not perfect and it's a little dated, but that's to be expected. That was a god named Donkey Kong Country Ostrich. Are you kidding me? I swear to god that ostrich you saw to the side was from Donkey Kong Country. Th there is so much leftover crap in this game that I'm now just realizing. That's a Globo, if I'm not wrong, to the side. What the fudge? Oh, jeez. Man, I got tanked. Was that a Donkey Kong noise? Did I get, did I get like the, the, the prototype of this game? Cause I'm hearing like, look, look at this ostrich to the side. Please tell me that, that, I mean, I guess they didn't show their face that time, but please try to tell me that that was not the ostrich. Cause that totally freaking was like, I know you can only go so far with ostriches and it's a freaking rare game, so it's to be had, but still? I don't know, man. No, I'm going invincible, frick you. I ain't having to slow down again. Heck yeah. That speed up. Ah. I'm just trying to kind of breeze by when I can. I want that note. I haven't been collecting the notes too well. I try to collect them when I can. Alright, I think we're good. Whoa! There we go, got first. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing good. That's all great. It is kind of nice and refreshing to finally get back to playing this game, because out of all the Banjo games that I've ever played, this is probably the least played Banjo game I've ever played in my life. Like, out of all of them. Like, I've played all of them, I just haven't played a lot of this one, compared to the other ones. I still have played this one quite a bit back in the heyday, but... Yeah, it was weird, because I remember, um... Oh, this one's for Easy Easy Peak. You don't even need to show me the title, I know what this is. But yeah, um... When this game came out, I remember going to GameStop, and seeing it on the shelf, and I'm like, what, a Banjo Racer game for the Game Boy Advance? And I'm like, Dad, please? And he's like, cha. Because Game Boy Advance games, I think, were cheaper than, like, console games, so it was probably something easier for my dad to do, obviously. So maybe that was why I got a, just a for sure yes right there and then. But, um, yeah, I don't know, like, good, good times. Really good times. I enjoyed this game. Uh, like I said, it's not very perfect. It's very simplistic racing. I would actually argue that Diddy Kong Racing is a bit more immersive, but for a Game Boy Advance title and, you know, all that such, it's actually really cool. Love the music here. Getting major Diddy Kong Racing vibes. God, glad I played this game. I almost skipped over it in terms of, like, out of all the banjo games. I was about to just jump straight into 2E after this game. Whenever I did Gritty's Revenge, I was going to do 2E sometime after. Now, like, not immediately after, but sometime after that, obviously. But I'm um, glad I delved into this one, because this is definitely a game to showcase, that's for sure. Bam! I'm going to shove that your way. Bada boom. Alright, but yeah, we have another, like, what, three cups to do besides this one, so... Wish me luck on commentating on a racing game. One of the, the first Let's Play I ever did on my channel was Diddy Kong Racing. And I don't know exactly why I picked Diddy Kong Racing, of all things. Because a racing game isn't the easiest thing to talk over. And I remember, um... I remember when I picked Diddy Kong Racing, I think my major reason for picking it was because my a tip that I was given was play something that you consider like you're good at, you're nostalgic with, something that you know pretty well, and that would be a good starting game. So I was like, okay, sure. And I did, and Diddy Kong Racing just so happened to pop up, so that's why I did it. 
but I wouldn't advise starting off with a racing game. Speed up shoes! Holy frick. Yeah, I would have been passive if I hadn't used those. Klongo over here, holy fudge. That was close. Phew. Oh, they're knocking me over, man. What the heck? Oh, whoa, whoa. Crashing into one another. Oh, Grunty got a fourth. I didn't think she did. Alright, so that's going to put me up to 10 more points, which means I rank number one, Klongo number two, Mumba number three. Ooh, Grunty, you're losing a spot. Klongo was number four, but you guys have switched. Alrighty, alright. Let's go ahead and do this fourth race. Uh, yeah, these are going to be relatively shorter videos, mind you. So, each one's probably going to be about 10 minutes long at best. Anyways, current race for four, Hailfire Peaks. Ooh, right after, right after Freezy's Peak, they take us to Hailfire Peaks, which is supposed to be a fire and ice level, or fire and snow level, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, basically it was supposed to be a fire and ice level, and that's kind of not present here, if I may say, because, I mean, the background's kind of got, like, a cool look to it with the dark blue sky, but... This is mostly like the fire side of Hailfire Peaks, so, which makes sense. Because obviously we just got done doing Freeze Easy Peaks, so I'd hate to be doing a ice level, like a snow level, and then go straight into a fire and ice level. That's kind of repetitive all of a sudden. So I'm glad it's mostly the fire side, that's cool. And to be fair with Hailfire Peaks, once you enter the level, it is, you know, starting off at the fire side, so. Man, you see that dragon off to the side? Was that the freaking. Uh. I don't want to say Chili Willy. Chili Willy is not the term I'm looking for here. Because there's Chili Willy, and then there's Billy Willy. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't, for a, a supposed Banjo fan, I've got my facts, facts and names pretty bad. So, that's kind of why I'm going through the games again. Just because I, I need to brush up on my Banjo. Oh, jeez. But honest to God, like, as much as I love Banjo 2, I love that game to pieces. And I look forward to Let's Play it someday. I honestly cannot wait to do Nuts and Bolts for my channel. Just because that, that's going to be a treat. That's going to be a freaking treat to do. Ooh, that freaking DK sound. Is that Klongo? Like, did they just use DK's voice for Klongo? Oh, dear God. Okay, I got second. I thought I was going to get sixth there because I was just in sixth place. Second ain't too bad. But we're this close to tying up with Klongo. Well, wait, wait. Actually, I won, right? Yeah, I won by like four points. Yeah, yeah there we go. Beat Klongo, frick you. <laughs> nice. Alright. Oh wow, what is this? Very good, you've gained enough points for the Gold Cup. All you need to do now is defeat the current champion. I suppose you're wondering what you need to do here. Let me tell you, you met your opponent high up in the sky, or you meet your opponent high up in the sky. Use your weapons to shoot them down before they shoot you down. Keep an eye on your green energy bar. If this reaches zero, it is game over. Oh, we got something extra here? See, Kazooie Clash. Ooh. We going up against Kazooie, or...? Yeah, we are. Wow. What is this all about? Also, you get this, like, little base kind of attack. Oops. Hey, hey, hang on. Where, where are we going with this? Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Gotta deflect. She's shooting stuff backwards at us, too. Oh, jeez. I think they got an item, but we don't. Ah! Watch out, Banjo! Jesus. Gotta be careful, dude. Oh, now, now she's behind me. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, okay, we're at a disadvantage now. Okay, we had the advantage at first, but now we don't. Minji Jongo? What does that even do? <laughs> I think I killed Kazumi. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Crap. We're nearly tied. Ouch, fudge. I kind of want to be behind her again, because that was the better point of view. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Keep hitting her down. Hit her when you can. Hit her when you can. Come on. Crap, she's gonna get those eggs. Ah. Uh, okay. Definitely gotta get that lead. Probably should be getting actual items here, but for the life of me. Come on. Come on. Crap. She's going right back behind me. Alright, best to dodge for a while. Ouch, 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 crap. Okay, we got this, though. Totally got this. Oh, ice eggs. Here we go. Yeah, take that. Alright, and have another. And one more should do the trick, right? Shoot. Caught me off guard. Piece of crap. Fall. That should be it, right? We beat her. She's out of health, for God's sakes. Freaking take her out of the skies. Whew. All right. Holy crap. The whole gang's here. Even from, uh, Grantee's Revenge. That's neat. You just, just go. 
we don't need to see that. So it's all good. Champion Honeycomb, cool. So yeah, we got the Golden Champion Cup, I guess. Well done, you're the new champion of the Honeycomb Cup. Oh, so you have to beat them if you want to be the champion. Okay, I guess we got a gold hand, guys. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video of Banjo-Kazooie, or I'm sorry, not even Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Pilot. It's not even Kazooie the title. title. Um, Banjo-Pilot, that's it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you like this, make sure you leave a like and a comment. Uh, share this video. That'd be much appreciated. Like I said, it's only going to be about a, maybe a four-video series, so don't expect a whole bunch of these. But uh, I do plan on uploading at least a good four cups. So this is one of them. Got another three left to go. So until then, guys, see you all next time.